Well, hello there. Today we are going to talk about HDRIs, or High Dynamic Range Images or Imagery. And we're going to use this to light our scene. Uh, but before we do that, we have a simple staircase and a ball. And I'm just going to render this using Maya software. So we know the result is going to give us. It's terrible, super quick, but there's not even any real shadows. So let's switch this to Arnold and take a look. Actually, let's save this image first. This will keep this image temporarily so we can compare the two. And like a previous video, we've used the Sky Dome light. It's super cool, great light just to get some cool results relatively quickly. <clears throat> Notice it takes a little bit longer to render because we're using Arnold now. So we went from Maya software to this huge improvement. Now let's talk HDRs. So an HDR, uh, in the simplest terms, I guess that my brain understands it is, it's a picture that has different uh, exposure settings, and then it's all combined into one. So we have this really dark exposure, and then gradually steps up to what seems to be like overexposed. And then you can combine these together to get something like this. The cool thing about this in 3D is that we can use basically like a spherical image and then use that to light our scene. So the best site, absolute best site in my opinion, is HDRIHaven. Dot com and that is um, just a really great site 100% free you don't have to sign up for anything so here we go to hdrihaven.com and go to hdris and basically you've got dozens of choices so I can pick hey I would like an urban setting maybe indoor so we're gonna do a couple different options so I'm gonna do outdoor and you'll see all these different spheres and these spheres are just examples of what uh, you could, what your scene might look like, and these materials would look like given this HDR inside of your 3D application. So let's just take that one. I can click here, and then I get to pick my resolution. If I'm not doing reflections or anything like that, I'm just using it for light. I don't need a 16K image. So I'm just going to do 1K. Press download. It's downloaded. And I'm going to get a couple more for this example. And let's do an indoor one. I like this one. <clears throat> has that warm tint to it. So I'm going to press download again. Now I have these two HDRs. So inside of Maya, I select my Sky Dome. And in my attribute editor, under the, the color input, I press the checker box. And then I'm going to go to File, and this is where I find my HDR image. So let's press the folder and go to my Downloads. There's that one, and this is the Outdoors. So I'm going to press Open. And as you can see, the Sky Dome is using this light. Uh, I'm sorry, the Sky Dome is using this image. And it's a 360-degree image, which is pretty cool in and of itself. But let's press Render and take a look. <clears throat> now I have my quality settings turned very low so it renders quicker for you all so you will notice we went from this which was great to this so now notice the shadow is coming this way that is interesting that is because it takes the lighting information from this image and our light source is right here sorry that was just a cloud right up here and I can show that to you. So if the light source is here, that means if I rotate, the shadows should be coming towards me. And we can test that <clears throat> roughly coming towards me. And that's accurate. Okay, so it's using where the light source is in the scene. And now let's put the other one under our sky dome. And that was that indoor, this guy. Actually, before I do that, I want to save that image temporarily. That way we can compare the two. Press keep image. I guess I already did that. And now let's load up that other image. Okay, so this one 
It's kind of like this little theater, and it has really warm lighting. And the light is coming from lots of places, here, 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 maybe even some over here, and bouncing off the walls. So let's take a look at what's going to happen in our scene. <clears throat> the first thing we notice right off the bat <clears throat> is that we do not have hard shadows. Um, that's just because our lighting, we didn't have one light source, we have multiple light sources. So we have shadows going this way, shadows going this way. And it's that really warm color because it is picking up the information, the color information from this scene. So this is a really great way, uh, depending upon what you need, to light your scene. And let's just take a look at what we started with. Started with Maya Software, quickly added a Sky Dome, added the HDR and this HDR. So that is how you use HDRIs inside of Maya in Arnold. 